Who think of set 11? Uh, way better set 10. Because no headliners. And also, I think the units are better. Um, the units are just very fun. I mean, every unit. But especially like the 5 costs. I mean, I never realized how bad the 5 costs are this set until I looked at set 10. I mean, set 11. Like, the, the 5 costs in set 11 are so fucking flexible. Like, every comp basically has a 5 cost, you can play with it. Yeah, man, like, headliners, bro, I feel like that's what ruined my enjoyment for the set. I kind of thought it was other things, but honestly, if there's no headliners this set, maybe it'd be better. Right, part of the problem is, like, depending on what headliner you have, like, the traits are different. Like, not only do you have to play around, like, what unit you got, you have to play around what traits your unit has. It's just absurd. Oh, okay, this is... Eh, I don't like that, man, to be honest. I mean, I guess we're gonna go tank Jax. <laughs> I mean, I, I hope it's stronger than Tom Kench. It's a two cost, but I don't know. So I love him to be more casual friendly. Dude, I think it's friendly towards everyone, not just casuals. But if you're the type to say that, okay, well, set, set 10 was like not casual friendly, then yeah, I, I guess it's set 11. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. yeah, the set 11 would be more casual friendly. But then, like, the thing is, like, the pool sizes didn't get changed, which I think is pretty bad for casuals. But, like, they should have changed them. Because it's a different set. I mean, there's no headliners in set 11. I just feel like it's very weird they didn't change the the uh, odds for units and shit. I, I mean, the pool sizes. Very weird. But that was so competitive focused. The competitive scene wasn't happy. The casual scene wasn't happy either. <laughs> Like, I mean, here's the thing, dude. I don't I don't see how you can have, like, Chosens. Because apparently Chosens were in the game before. I mean, I wasn't playing when there were Chosens. You can't have, like, that type of mechanic. Like, where, where you can just high roll something so hard and call it a competitive set. Like, it's just not. Like, maybe we could have, like, a competitive set if we had no headliner. No headliners. It, it just, it allows for so many high rolls. It's just stupid. And it allows for so many low rolls. I mean, usually people low roll instead of high roll. I mean, your chance of low rolling is just higher, let's be real. Oh, okay, you're talking about, like, the re-release set. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was... Uh, I don't think there's any problem with what they did there. But at the same time, I just had the feeling like their development team was spread too thin because of it. And then the balancing was worse on this set. Wait, what? Dude, it's 3-6. No one's even 4 2 but everyone's already hit. What the fuck? Huh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, dude, to be honest. Wait, are there two people playing Riven? So the guy who hit Riven wasn't even with the duplicators. That guy, I think, was Riven. <laughs> this game is weird. Okay, come on, man. W wasn't there a guy going Seraphine reroll, and then it's Seraphine? See, this is why headliners suck, man. This is why headliners suck. I haven't he seen a single bard, bro. And no one's holding bard, by the way. What? Does that make sense? No. Yeah, it's just rolling six. I'm bleeding more towards a bard headliner than a MF headliner. I already said Rage Blade on MF. It'd be really bad to, like, play double... Bro, I just have to take the headliner and then leave it on bench or something. That would be really bad. Seta feels pretty good. I don't know. Did it seem correct? Oh, I got it. Oh, I want to take Golden Egg, man. I don't. But Unleash Arcane doesn't really work here. Oh, Gold of this. There you go. Um, hmm. So, in terms of how many bards are being held, this guy's holding a bard. I think just to grief me, and then, uh, yeah, might be it. Oh, he has Riven Headliner now. Okay, please don't wrap. Nice, we just killed it.
I rolled 250 gold on 7 and hit 1 ribbon. Funny, I actually believe that. This is why the uh, pool size changes, man. Like, Vito Men. Pretty sure people are not rolling this much gold before and missing this often. This is a little crazy. Maybe, like, reconsider. Like, nice. No trade bard. He's had that for, like, 10 years. Jesus Christ, man. Do you get any... I didn't say everyone, bro. I was just saying the ones that uh, are good at the game and hit rank 1. Well, okay. The ones that hit rank 1. Because a lot of ones that are good at the game, like, they didn't hit rank 1, they look fine. If you hit rank 1, bro, you actually, like... You have to go through the trenches. You have to go through the trials and tribulations, the struggles... What if got any bad cotton though? No one commented, in fact. Oh my god, he sold his bard! Ha <laughs> ha! You can't grieve me anymore, boy! Time to face the fire! Oh fuck, I can't roll, dude. I mean, I'm one off, but this, this guy's holding MF2. This guy's holding... Wait, he's not holding MF. So there's just one guy holding MF2, but this guy might die, no? Okay, how's this guy fucking dying, man? But I'm not gonna swan send under... 20 surely surely okay damn i knew i counter him see oh wait because see the reason why bard counters um seraphine is because of single target damage seraphine benefits when uh she can just keep her frontline alive for like a super long time with the healing and bard can just burst it down yeah, dude, trust me, like, the people, the things people get mad about, like, are, are the stupidest shit, okay? Like, internet people like bullying. They like streamers bullying each other. And they like bullying streamers. That's what they like. And they will get mad, like, over, like, stupid shit. Instead of, like, getting mad over, like, you insulting someone. It's never like that. Dude, you know, um, here's a really good example of, like, Bebe. I'm not sure if it's a good example. Honestly, it's not that good of an example, but I was just thinking about it. Like, Bebe, like, he kind of, like, had, like, this really bad reaction to Milk. Like, Milk uh, made a video on Bebe, like, saying how he made a misplay in his, in his game. And then people, like, just started going crazy at Bebe. Like, uh... And let, let's, I'm gonna be specific. Bebe, like, he basically said that, like, he was gonna maybe, like, su either sue Milk or, like, punch Milk. But obviously, everyone knows he's not gonna do it. Like, yes, he had this very weird reaction that was, like, really bad and immature. But at the same time, I feel like the people jumping on him afterwards, like, they're just doing it because they wanna, like, jump on a streamer and, like, hate on them. Like, people just love hating on streamers. Like, they went really far, I, I feel. Holy fuck, two ults. I mean, that's so good. But he got his ult from Sona. And he has death cap. That could be some damage. No, it's still not enough. And I'm not surprised it's not enough. I mean, I have more carries. He's kind of going for Sona 3, though. So let's see if we can deny, I guess. It's actually... Perfect. Because I need spell we were in, anyways. He's selling board for Sona 3, but does he know that I'm holding? As long as I hold one, he's dead. Yeah, he didn't scout. But I mean, he was dead anyway, so I mean, fair, fair play, fair play. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you hold one, they, they can't hit, right? Dude, it's already 4-3. I have two star Kaisa on level 6. But I don't have my headliner. Like, it's crazy just like... This is why headliner is just like no fucking skill. Like it just takes so much skill out of the game, it's crazy. And now I think I lose, yeah. Like if this was a non-headliner set, I probably already rolled down for Seraphine 3 at this point. Um because I can grab the non-headliner Seraphines. And then I would still be wind shrieking. 
the Kali is high roll, but like it's not as good as like me hitting Seraphine 3, as you can see there. Okay, Akali, I see you, bro. What the fuck? I see you, Beastin. Ah, uh, too bad it's not KDA plus one, bro. I love that, like, I hit it. Like, when I made 50. Yeah, like, that, that was just perfect. Is Naughty and good after the mana changes? That's crazy. <laughs> Let's see wins, man. I go fourth. Like it's so oh, fuck. So literally every single person in the lobby played Heart Steel. Like they never like. What's hilarious about this game? I guess it's not really funny. It's not really hilarious. <laughs> Is that it's end of set and they still have balanced Heart Steel? Like just look at this shit. It's all like 80 flex besides me. 80 flex, 80 flex, 80 flex. And then there's like one AFK guy. And then this guy wanted to go 80 flex and then he kind of like scuffed it. So he used to play Ari. One sixth. But like, dude. It's not just. Like, I swear it's not just Headliners. Like, Headliners are really bad, but like. The way they balance heart seal just didn't happen. Like they just didn't balance heart balance heart seal. Like the end of set is such a good example of this shit. Like I, I go fourth even though I'm the one uncontested. That's just crazy. I can three star my units. It doesn't really matter.